There are a few things that we need to look at in order for our bearings and wheels to operate efficiently on a truck axle. We need to look at bearing spacers, wheel hubs, and truck hangers. When we look at how each one affects performance, we can better understand what's happening while we skate and know how to improve our bearing and wheel functionality. So let's start with bearing spacers. What are they, and what do they do? Bearing spacers are these small metal cylinders that sit between both bearings inside a wheel. Their purpose is to allow the axle nut to be tightened all the way down, allowing the inner rings from both bearings to be stationary on the axle so the wheel can rotate efficiently. Bearing spacers also reduce the amount of loads put on a bearing. If you want to know more about how loads affect bearings, check out the video about bearings and their differences. When wheels are functioning properly, higher speeds can be achieved, and at higher speeds, high frequency wobbles can occur less often or avoided entirely. This all sounds good, but the problem is most bearing spacers and wheel centers are manufactured with conflicting sizes, so each wheel may not be functioning optimally. Bearing spacers and bearing gaps or hubs inside a wheel are supposed to have a width of 4 tenths of an inch. I have measured countless bearing spacers with a caliper, only to find that nearly all of them fall between 401 and 407 thousandths, so you may have a different size spacer that's not accommodating each wheel. The closer the needle is to zero during these measurements, the closer the length is to 4 tenths of an inch. You can see some spacers range between 401 to 407 thousandths and way off at 417 or 392 thousandths. These may still seem like small measurements, but when we start measuring the space inside a wheel, we can really see how things are not lining up correctly. Shouldn't bearing spacers be the same size as the gap in the wheel? Well, let's take a look at what is happening in a lot of wheels because of the different measurements. If we have a bearing spacer and a wheel with a narrow bearing gap, our wheels can be unbalanced and can shift over the bearings. Can you imagine having wheels that do this while riding at high speeds? Street skating wheels are not any better than longboard wheels. We measured a Bones wheel that had a gap measure at 382 thousandths. Bones bearing spacers measured at 402 thousandths. This leaves a gap of 20 thousandths between the bearing seat and bearing. That is a significant amount of space that does not allow the wheel to have ideal functionality. This is happening with a top selling brand that sells both wheels and bearing spacers. What's even more absurd is how a bearing seat can be crooked or lopsided. Lopsided bearing seats are caused by the wheel mold. Here is a drawing of a common wheel mold design. There are two pins placed in the center of the mold that creates the inside section of the wheel forming the bearing seats. These pins do not always fit tight in the mold and can lean to one side causing the inside of the wheel to be crooked. This is a very common problem that forces the bearings to bind up and roll inefficiently. Why is this so common? Because there is not enough precision in the machining of the tools for the mold, so the end results are poorly made wheels. With that said, let's take a look at how trucks can affect performance even if our wheels and bearing spacers line up correctly. Look close where the axle rod extends out of the hanger. You can clearly see how the hanger is slanted slightly. Here's what happens when you try to tighten your wheel to a truck with a slanted hanger surface. It presses on one side of the bearing which causes the inner ring to tilt on the axle, causing the balls to ride on the edges of the raceway. This will end up causing the wheel to be slow from faulty bearing operation and can ultimately ruin the bearing. There's also another way that a truck can cause the same problem. Take a look again at where the axle rod comes out of the hanger. Some aluminum was left on the axle. If the axle washer cannot sit flat, it will force the inside ring of the bearing to sit crooked. If you think about it, this tiny piece of aluminum from the hanger can slow one bearing down. That bearing now affects the whole wheel, that now affects the entire board. Now you can see how a lot of skate equipment brands are just popping out product without taking the time and care to make and sell truly high quality products. As skaters, we know that we are risking serious injury and even death every time we set foot on our boards. So why not demand the best quality products for your setup? When you actually have the highest quality products, you can skate with more confidence, skate harder, be safer, and have more fun knowing that your skate equipment will function precisely the way it's intended and take your skating to a higher level. So why settle for just pop out products? If you want to know more about skate equipment, check out the rest of the videos or click around ratvision.com.